Now it's coming up to growing season again. So this year's project, tobacco. We're going to grow our own tobacco. Now I don't smoke and I have tried this before and it was like some success and some failures. Now it's not just as simple of planting seeds, growing the plants and then um, strip and smoking the leaves. It's not like that. It's You have to um, cure the leaves, you have to ferment the leaves and they have to be cured very slowly with a bit of heat and moisture. You've got to stop, um, stop the mould. The ones I had the most success with was, I picked some leaves they, you turn them yellow and I, I put them in a box and to be honest with you, I forgot about them for two years. And I threw them in, uh, under the stairs and I found them one day and they were absolutely superb. You've got to get them to the texture of like um, like a chamois leather, soft and pliable. If, if you dry them out too quick they go crumbly like leaves, the autumn leaves, you don't want that. So here we have... A golden Virginia seed and that is a burley and these are what are these ones you can't see them Tennessee burley Havana you got to have different types I can't focus it in at the moment As I said, you could have different types of um, tobacco. But, you know, you've got Gone Virginia, Burley, different ones. You've got to get the blend right. So we're going to start it off today and you'll never ever see seeds as small as these. See if it comes into focus now. It's like if you just sprinkle a bit of pepper on the on a bit of sheet of paper. That's what it's like. That's the size of them. So they're very difficult to uh... so what I'll do now I'll mix a couple of seeds with a bit of compost tiny bit of you know a knife tip and we put them in some compost then. So this is the first part now. It's gonna, this is going to be a year video. It'll take about a year. So this is the first bit. We're going to use these jiffy plugs to uh, set the seeds in. That's them um, before they hydrated, and then they are they hydrate. Yes, just soak them in water, and we're going to set them in that now. Well, that's the size of the seeds and they are minute so this is the the burly tobacco so we're just gonna sow some of these now well that's the tobacco plant sowed and they'll just go in the uh, propagator now you just put the seeds on top you don't bury the seeds at all as I said, they're so minute, there's no point uh, burying them and I think you don't know what's happening. So I put roughly about 10 seeds in each cell. So we just leave them now and just hope they propagate. So they'll go in here with the rest of the stuff. And that's uh, stage one done. That's the sowing of the tobacco. I'd just like to add, it is completely legal to grow your own tobacco. It's a flowering shrub and you can also, you can buy some tobacco plants in, you know, the B&Q, home base, places like that. They're a nice, but they do grow about six foot tall. And, they, and there are nice uh, flowers. 
they produce. A lot of them, a lot of people just plant them for the flowers. But I'm not. So I'm going to ferment the leaves and give them to the boys who smoke. This is the tobacco plant after eight weeks. So as you can see, it's a very um, slow growing plant. So what we does now, we puts it in the, in the grow box. And we put it under artificial light to stop it reaching for the sun like and they go leggy and weak. So they'll go, they'll go in here you now with other bits and pieces. So we've got a few, uh, we've got six tobacco plants there, that's all I'm going to do. There's a couple of chilli plants in here as well. So we're going to put this box over here you now. goes there and it puts the lid on and switch it on huh? and it gives me artificial light so I can stay in the air, I can stay in the air indefinite so just gives you a light and there's a little bit of a fan on it as well and they're quite cheap to run these boxes these lights are Virtually nothing, maybe 10 pence a day. So I'll stay in there now for a few weeks. And we move it to the, the next stage then yeah, of uh, potting it on and then planting it out in about, well, about five weeks' time. Well, it's about, it's uh, 3rd of April, I think. And we've brought the tobacco plants over the allotment now and we've set them in the pots. So this is where they're going to stay. I'll give them a week in the polytunnel now and then uh, we'll just move them outside. But they'll stay in these pots now. So they're in their final position. And that's how they've had. These are at 14 weeks now. So now they will push on and they'll grow very very quick now. But they're a slow growing plant. It takes a while for them to uh, get started, but once they start, this stage now they'll just shoot on. So that's it, they're in the potted position. Well, it's uh, four weeks later, and the uh, tobacco plants now they're in place in their pots in the final growing position. And as you can see, they've actually, they've trebled in size in a month. It's uh, May the 2nd now. So I'll leave them in the pots now and just, uh, we wait now for the leaves to turn yellow. And we'll start harvesting them then. So that's another six weeks away at least, maybe two months. Well, we'll just leave them grow away quietly. Uh, tobacco plants are in flower. This is where you collect your seeds from, you know, the bottom of your... You have all the seeds. It's, I have a trouble if they start in the yellow. This is what I want. Like, you know, this is... Um, that's a tight thing. This is just yellow in now, this leaf is. So this is how we uh, collect them. And we'll uh, hang them out to a cure. But it's been a funny year they have for uh, the, the, the tobacco. They're not curing, they dry in too quick. So they go like um, like the autumn leaves, like crunchy and brittle. So that's another one, but there it is. Yeah, so they dry out so quick and they go crispy, the, the leaves are, that's not good. You've got to get them, as I said, like a chamois leather. So I'll pick a couple of leaves, but there it is. This one. These are just starting to go. You can see I'm now with this one. It's starting to brown a bit as well. See it's starting to brown there. That's what we gotta get it to go like and it's gotta be 
playable like like as I said like a chamois that's all that they got but as soon as I put them in the green in the shed now to dry they'll uh, they'll go pretty on this is a poor plant this is yeah the leaves are very uh very small on them this year I think they've been hammered by black fly to be honest with you Quite sticky these ones are. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, a bit disappointing with them this year. They're not as uh, good as what they've uh, I've done before. But we'll keep trying. And this is um, drying out just a little bit too quickly. But there's no mould in them, so it should be okay. So there's a few in there. What I'm gonna do now, I did hang them up, but uh, they were drying out too quick, so I'm just gonna put them in a box and forget about them. This is what I done last uh, last time I done them. So we'll just keep packing them in the box, and we'll just forget about them and we'll see what they turn out like. So this is the yellowing stage. So we just uh, have to wait and see what happens. So I'll just forget about them for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. It's mid-September now. So it's coming up the 10 months after we sold and this says the tobacco. We uh, didn't have a lot, I lost a bit of interest over the allotment this year, so I didn't plant the tobacco out, I left them in pots, so they didn't really grow. But this is, uh, what do you want, like this leaf isn't too bad, it's, it's not too dry. And uh, this is, a, it's a different, um, different brand of tobacco, like you know, one's uh, a Gone Virginia, I think that could be uh, a Burley. And this darker one could be a Tennessee Burley, I'm not sure, but so this one's a bit drier, a little bit drier, but still alright. But this is what you're heading for, it's, it's nice and soft, and this is what you want. I, as I said, I didn't plant them out, I left them in pots, so we didn't really get a lot, because I, I just lost interest on it uh, all year. But I'm going to cut this all up now, and we're going to see what we get. I'll be able to try it then. But as I said, is um, this one's not too bad either. It's like a little shammy it is. This I don't know which one this is. It's a very light one. That I know there's three different types. I think there's um, Golden Virginia, a Burley, and there's a Tennessee Burley as well. So I'm going to shred a bit up now and see what it's like. Well, I've just uh, chopped a bit up, and as you can see, as I said, you sh I should le I should have left it to develop for another six months or something to uh, for the leaves to mature. But I just rushed it because they were didn't have a good crop and just a little bit. I thought I'd just do this for um, video purposes. And what I've done, I've chopped it up using the old uh, hand blender. I've got a processor, chuck it in that. And it's good to mix. I know as, um, if you buy some uh, ready-made stuff like, you know, go and in the shops or buy it on the cheap. Mix this with it and it's alright then. So I think there's only one thing to do now and that's to try it. Maybe we go on I think we're going to have to just try it and see what it's like. I haven't smoked for 10 years, so I hope this isn't going to get me back on it. Do you know, it's not that bad. It's, it's all right on its own. It needs to be a bit drier. 
I've had it in the fridge with a, a cabbage leaf just to moisten it up a bit so it's a bit uh, it's packed a bit tight so we're not getting much smoke it's all right so I think we'll call that uh, a success as I said if you mix it there's nothing wrong with it at all so you could put uh, like um, buy a 50 gram of normal tobacco in the shops and mix it with about 100 grams of this or 200 grams of that so it goes a lot further like so it goes to prove you can grow your own tobacco in this country and it'll save you a lot of money because what's it it was 20 odd pound for a pouch in a shop and I had 26 pound I better put this out because I get if I can like it again I'll be back smoking now let me just pop the other shit go back and I feel a bit dizzy you know after that so that was this year's project so next year, I don't know what we're going to do, we'll try something else next year. So I'll see you next year in 22. Ta-ra for now.